Sveiki mėlėjai, Žalgiris Insider prie numeratoriai. Savaitę, kai neturime Eurolygos rungtynių, nėra priežastis nei rašyti įdomių pokalbių, ar neturėti papildomo turinio iš Kauno Žalgirio komandos gyvenimo ir prieš Žalgiriečiams keliaujant į trumpas atostogėlės švenčių metu, mes pasikvietėme mūsų vyriausiai komandos treneriai Jūrės Dovca ir su juo pakalbėsime apie jo laikotarpį Kaune, apie tai, kaip jis mato savo darbus jau nuviktus su Žalgirio komando, apie tai, kaip jis mato artimiausią ateitį ir apie tai, kaip jis žiūri į visą šį sezoną bendrai paėmus. Taigi mes nieko nelaudame ir pradedame pokalbį su mūsų vyriausiu komandos treneriu Jūrė Stopsu. Hello coach, how are you? Oh, thank you, good. Uh, just w- briefly, we talked about uh, winter uh, before we started this conversation and you mentioned that you are good at skiing. So can you tell for our subscribers how good at skiing you are? I skiing from, f- I started skiing with the five, when I was five years old. Yeah. Uh, It was very popular, it's still very popular, but in this time it was like most popular national t- team sport, a national sport in Slovenia. Everybody uh, need to learn how to ski. Also, we like our parents, you know, we have still this, our kids, you know, first thing they need to learn <laughs> to ski or board now, you know, this yeah. time when I was skiing, it was not boarding yet. Uh, and, you know, when we have time, uh, we always go for skiing, you know, we have a lot of ski spot in Slovenia, also Austria is very close. And uh, you see that, uh, I mean, that on the, especially in the holidays, you know, all Slovenia go, you see the cars with the skiing. They go for skiing. It's so nice when you have uh, places where to ski or you have the equi- equipment to do the skiing. But in Lithuania, we don't have mountains. So do you miss skiing here being in Lithuania? No, no. <laughs> I don't actually miss anything. Uh, it's uh, so much work, you know, that we don't have time. Uh, but yeah, I, I spoke with uh, Minda. Minda, Minda says, uh, he also likes to ski, our uh, team manager, you know, yeah. and he explained me that he needs to go far away to, to find the ski place. Uh, now, when two months have already passed for you, how do you think about this uh, two months period in Jalgiris Konas? Was it uh, very hard in your career? Maybe one of the hardest challenges that you have faced yes, so far? Yes, definitely, definitely. You know, it's uh, first time in my career I jump in in the middle, uh, you know, Uh, not of the middle of the season, but of the middle of uh, the, the so many games, you know, on the high level. Uh, and it was really not easy for me to, uh, honestly, to to find out the way to see everything, you know, to adjust to uh, so many experienced players, you know, uh, some new players in Euroleague, uh, people around me. Uh, but... Uh, I must say that uh, I am really surrounded about uh, very positive people uh, who they believe uh, on me and it was for this reason uh, much easier. There were a lot of talks after the games and you talked about it, players talked about it, that uh, the problem is the opponent switch all defense uh, to which Algir sometimes breaks uh, and the offense breaks. How do you see the situation? Are uh, the guards the main line that could uh, break that point of the opponent switch all, maybe the big guys, or it's the matter of finding the right opportunity and uh, use that? How do you practice that in the practices? Uh, yes, lately we practice a lot about switching uh, against switching defense. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's uh, Let's say uh, normally it's uh, reading, you know, uh, uh, spacing, um, timing, let's say most important part, timing, not just against switching, in, uh, against e- every, every yeah. defense, you know. Uh, if you miss the, the, this moment, you know, when you have open pass advantage, you know, After uh, it's very difficult because you you a lot of times uh, you you try to solve this problem and they they the, the other teams they do this but they have a lot of players who can individually you know solve the problem yeah. you know we we unfortunately we you know we don't have this kind of players or you know even I believe we can also do this but. You need practice, you know, you need a lot of practicing, especially when situation came in the end, when you help guard against the big guy, you know. Yeah. 
uh, how to attack him, you know, how to read him, what he's doing, how to break him. We are too nervous in this situation, you know. Uh, and all these things we work. But when you watch the games, all the teams have similar problems for this reason, especially the last quarter, almost uh, all the teams or the, the last part of the last quarter go in switching defense. Uh, and uh, what I want to say, you can solve this problem also with the defense, you know. You must keep the balance, you know, with yeah. the defense. What we didn't do the last games, you know, we, like I mentioned already in Kazan, Monaco, we received 34 points, 24 points in the last quarter, you know. Yeah. The last quarter must be 10 10, you know. <laughs> you know, must yeah. be the war, you know, and this kind. Uh, but it's like I said, every every game you learn something. We analyze this, uh, like I said before, we work this. And when we work, you know, and I, Monaco, we work this a lot before Monaco, but Monaco, they didn't switch in the end, you know. And after we didn't practice for two, three days and uh, Kazan switch a lot, you know. Uh, also against Kazano, all team have big problems. You yeah, know. of course, big bodies. Yeah, uh, and that's it. Bonjour, you want to see the whole video? Subscribe Jalgeris Insider. Nieko nelau, jau dabar tap Jalgeris Insider prenumeratoriumi. Įsijungk į Jalgerį.